Hello, in this problem we're going to find the limit as h approaches zero of this. So the first thing we should try to do when we are evaluating limits is to take this number and actually just plug it in for the h and see what happens. If we do that, we end up with a zero on the bottom. And that's no good, we're not allowed to have zero on the bottom. So we have to do something else. And that something else is called rationalize. I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is the limit as h approaches 0. And then here we have the square root of 16 plus h, and then minus 4 all over h. And so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the following. 16 plus h plus 4, and then same thing on the bottom, square root of 16 plus h, plus 4. We're basically multiplying by 1, and we're multiplying by the so-called conjugate. And the reason is this. Check this out. There is, there is a formula that tells us if you have a minus b times a plus b, that that is a squared minus b squared. It's the difference of squares formula. So a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared. So here you have your a, here you have your b, here you have your a, here you have your b. So let's apply this formula to this problem. So this is the limit as h approaches 0. So a is the square root of 16 plus h. So when you square that, you're just going to get 16 plus h, right? That's a squared, right? Because you square the a, you subtract, and then you square the 4, so that's 16, right? 4 squared is 16. Really beautiful. All divided by h. And then on the bottom here, we have the square root of 16 plus h plus 4. So again, we do this because whenever you have a square root like this and a plus or a minus something and your limit doesn't work, like if you plug it in it doesn't work, try this. Most of the time, I would say if it's in a classroom setting, 95% of the time it's going to work. Uh, so if you have square roots like this where you have a plus or a minus and you're taking this number and you're plugging it in and it's not working, do the rationalizing thing, it will probably work. So what you do is you switch the sign, and then you multiply by 1 in a really clever way, and then you use the difference of squares formula. It's a minus b times a plus b. Your a is this piece here, and your b is 4. So you just square your a, and the square root goes away, and you square your 4, and you get a 16. And you square it because it's over here. It's part of, part of the formula. Now the 16s go away. So this is the limit as h approaches 0 of h over h, and then here we have the square root of 16 plus h plus 4. Boom, these go away, so we have the limit as h approaches 0, and now we have 1 over the square root of 16 plus h, and then we're left with the 4 here, so plus 4. And now we can plug in the zero, right? Because that annoying h is finally gone. And recall that whenever you plug in the number, whenever you're taking the limit, that's when you drop the limit sign. So we drop the limit sign, 1 over the square root of 16 plus 0. And then we have plus 4, plus 4. So this is equal to... Well, this is 1 over the square root of 16 plus 4. This is equal to 1 over 4 plus 4. This is equal to 1 over 8. And that would be the final answer. So kind of cool. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.